Three, two, one. It's Mad Men Sports. Diamond Dave. What's up? Zach and Lewis. What's happening? What's up, Lou? Happy to be here. Agreed. First place, Buffalo Bills. Oh, hey. They're back. By, uh, thanks to the Bengals. And the 49ers. Yeah, and the 49ers. Bengals are always helping us out. God bless Cincinnati, I guess. No place else. No place what's else. The, what's the deal with Ohio? Is Ohio really a place? Barely. It shouldn't be. Ugh. But whatever. Get out of Ohio. There you go. <laughs> um, we're playing. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, comment and guess the score <sighs> close of last this week. weekend's no game. No one's gotten this thing yet. Uh, James uh, Very close was three points off. A Nick Folk missed field goal away. Uh, comment your score predictions down below. Uh, you know the drill, obviously. Um, so, Bills play the Jets. Uh, Mike White. I, I, I gotta be honest, transparent with the pod and the listeners. My least favorite team that they play against every year is the Jets. I hate the fucking Jets. I just hate looking at them. The terrible green... The games are always boring. Tell me, like, one shootout with the Jets. All right, Fitzpatrick had one, like, six years ago. It was a really good watch. Tell me one time in our lifetime, even my lifetime, and I'm older than you, that the Jets have had a high-powered offense that they're like, holy shit, watch out for their Should offense. Pennington? <sighs> even then, they were awful. Curtis they had, Martin. Ray they had a defense then. They had, they had the, Garrett, the Fitz, Eric Decker, Brandon Marshall teams were okay, but... Never, they could never, beat the never Bills. scared you. Never kept you up. Never in there. beat the Bills. <clears throat> uh, Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall, maybe in a couple years. Garrett Wilson's good. Seemingly so. He's not Chris Olave. That guy's he might be close. Points. He might be close to Chris Olave though. Who's offensive MVP then? Oh, who's offensive MVP of the year? For no, I'm sorry. I meant rookie. League. I meant rookie. Uh, offensive rookie of the year. Oof. James Cook. Probably uh, Walker from Seattle. Kind of longer. Maybe. He's hurt now. He's oh, there's a receiver wins. that's tearing it up that I'm a big fan of. Is it Chris Olave? No. Probably Garrett Wilson. Being biased him, but no, there's another guy. Fuck. Garrett Wilson, man. Give me a second. He's the guy. Who's better than Garrett Wilson right now? I'll be honest. Well, I mean, probably Chris Olave. Drake London, maybe? Mm. Maybe he's doing the most. That's a stretch. At least. I don't know. <laughs> Rookie. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But hey, we had a conversation about who is the offensive player of the year. Uh, yeah. I, I think it's probably going to go to a quarterback, which is a little odd. But I think if it doesn't go to a quarterback, I think the wide receiver of Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, maybe not uh, there yet. Christian but, Watson is the guy I was thinking of. Oh, yeah. He's got nine touchdowns. And what, Stephon Diggs, I think, should be in the conversation. He's top three in all receiving categories. If he has... What is it? Uh, thirty-three or thirty-six catches. Seven. Thirty-seven catches, three hundred seven, three hundred thirty-four yards, and two touchdowns. The rest of the way, he breaks three Bills regular season records. Right two now. of them were set by himself in yeah. twenty twenty, and then Billy Brooks has the touchdown one. The thing is, is I really think Diggs should be the guy, but I think that the media who votes and the writers and stuff is going to put Tyree Kill as the offensive play of the year. Which really sucks. Wild and obviously not insinuating. Doesn't have the there. touchdowns. Um, Stephon Diggs is oddly like the ability for him to get two thousand receiving yards isn't that far off. What is There's he five at? games. Is it like twelve hundred and fifty? I think. Yeah. Towards the end of the year, when shitty weather hits, the Bills aren't going to be throwing as much because they're going to need to. Yeah, but Stephon Diggs on a casual dig is 100. But if he gets two more yards. touchdowns, he breaks a Bills record that he hasn't broken yet. He, he might get two touchdowns this week. Yeah, that's definitely possible. It would be really cool if he did that. He's also nine catches away from 100 catches on the season. That is another no, 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 no. Does he already have that? He's got 91. Matt Milano hurt. He's on the injury report today. Did not practice with a knee injury. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about that yet. I'll wait until Friday. Yep. Mm. Maybe Dawkins. just get him to limited. Uh, I saw Dion's limited. They didn't think he practiced yet. He's trending in the right direction, but again, uh, you know he's not I sure. I'm not sure if he plays. Do you guys? What do you? What do you guys got to read on Dawkins? Dawkins, yeah, Dawkins is playing. 
I do think Milano's probably out. Uh, I don't we, like that, but Poyer could play. Well, I mean, Klein's back, and Klein played great last game. Uh, maybe, maybe not great, but Klein played well. We definitely missed Deion Dawkins uh, when Quessenberry was in. Quessenberry. Quessenberry. He's also hurt. Oh, shit. Yeah, limited practice. Not great. Yeah, they're, they're in a tough spot, but you got to get it unlocked there and get some guys back on the field. So let me Thanks ask you this. We're playing Mike White. Jordan Phillips is likely out too, right? Uh, did not practice today. So well. Jordan Phillips, Matt Milano, and the guy we're not going to talk about, Von Miller, who's out for maybe Ever. nine months. Is our defense kind of taking a big step back this week? No. Von so Miller didn't play last week. We're back to not having, unless Rousseau steps it up, and, they and Oliver have- continues to do what he's doing. We're back to not having a pass rush, which Greg killed Russo's us against played. the Chiefs. They had a great pass rush last week against a really good offensive line. Shaq Lawson played very well. He's played great the last I don't know if we had a great pass rush last week. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, they, they had Mac Jones on his heels, brother. I mean, he ran DJ around. Vanessa, like, Mac Jones is on his heels Mac going Jones. to the grocery store. They had a good offensive line, though. That was a good showing by the Bills. Uh, I, I think that Rousseau is going to have to take a step here, and I think I'm okay with it. I think it's time. Listen. They didn't have a pass rush last year. Yeah. And they did it. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't finish the job, but you know, I can only assume that these guys take one more step further. You know what I mean? Another week of increased trade. It's not work. like Von Miller's gone. He's still going to be there on the sidelines, I'd assume. He's dead. Trey White could be back. They didn't have him last year. Uh, Jameson Crowder started lightly practicing Saw tonight. That. Micah Hyde as Micah well. Micah Hyde's lightly practicing. I don't know what they want out of that situation. but Something I do want to bring up is uh, interesting on the defense. What's up, brother? Xavier Rhodes. Is he the new starting cornerback outside Trey White? I don't think so. Well, Kyrie Elam, that healthy scratch last week. It shouldn't make uh, any sense to me. Bedford's hurt. I think he still could be lingering. What about Dane Jackson? Is he healthy? Yeah. Didn't McDermott say Elam was a healthy scratch? Did he say he was? He yeah. could have been, but he could, he must have, might want to just get him a little healthier. He's a speed guy. You're going to need him against the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Without a doubt. He's not getting a healthy scratch against the Dolphins. How about that? I think Dane Jackson still holds that spot uh, over Xavier Rhodes. Um, yeah. What do we need to see out of the offense, Davey? Exactly what I saw last week. I respect that. At Josh Allen having fun, finding digs, and running when it's necessary, successfully. The offense last week, no complaints. I want to see uh, James Cook continuing to cook. I think I like him. I mean, I'm all in on James Cook. Zach? Yeah, I think I'm in a good spot with James Cook right now. I like the mix that they're doing with a little signal Terry, a little Cook. I think passing downs, Cook is starting to earn those possessions a little bit more. A thousand percent. Yeah, I mean, over the last four weeks, his workload has increased tenfold. So, yeah. I'd love to see him. I- I'm in a good spot with Cook. Uh, keep using him. Hines, good rotational guy. Listen, everyone's clamoring. Hines isn't playing. Hines isn't playing. Did we have Zach Moss playing? No. I mean, Hines, Hines is having way more of an impact than Zach Moss is. We swapped Zach Moss for Hines. This wasn't a let's go get a playmaker as much as everyone thought. They said they spent a second round pick on this guy. They wanted to get rid of Zach Moss. That was the point of that. Stevens, Stevens, and thought we haven't seen much of him ever. Oh yeah, we could talk about that. No, we don't have to. I think we just did. No, we could talk about why is he cut. I think Nicky, Nicky the likely. Lawrence. What's your percentage of Odell being here? Twenty-seven uh, percent. I think the Bills are the favorite right now. I think that bridge is burned with uh, Dallas. I think I was listening to Jim Rome today, and he said this is the most overhyped free agent. He that he can remember that's going to have no payoff. See, I think that I I just I've heard that narrative a hundred times. What's so overhyped about it? Dude visited three teams over the course of a week. Can he not take the time to make a decision? Am I wrong about that? He can't take the time to find a decision? Why is he not working out? Because he's not healthy yet. He needs five more weeks. Even the Cowboys said that. If he wants 20 mil a year, and I don't know if that's true. You can't get 20 mil a year at this point. I don't think he's worth our time. He he can't get 20 mil a year. The season's already starting. He's going to get like some bullshit one and a half million at the most. Yeah, I mean, it's just not going to happen. Would you be open to signing him to a multi-year deal? Yeah, I think he's your. <clears throat> I think you sign him to a two-year deal with a third-year void option, and he is your Gabe Davis holdout deterrent. He he's your Gabe Davis replacement for sure. Mm-hmm. You're not keeping all three of those guys. 
Oh, you definitely could. You could. You could, you're not. But you try to keep all three. And if Gabe Davis holds out, which I, after this season, oh, listen, he had the one good game. He's had a good showing once or twice with the Steelers and the Rams. Outside of those three games, if I can put your, my finger on three games, if you want to go back to the Colts game in the playoffs three years ago, he's had four good games. Outside of that, is he really impressed? I get he's a good run blocker, but I need more out of that if I'm going to pay you t- number two wide receiver money. Thousand percent. But this is the mentality. He's a Rock Nation guy. We all saw Jay Z meeting Josh Allen or vice versa, if you want to call it that. He's a Rock Nation guy. I think that they Mer- could be positioning him, huh? Emergency trucks out there, guys. I think you could be positioning him to wanting to maybe hold out because that's what wide receivers do now. Debo Samuel did it. Uh, DK Metcalf was questioning it. He's at the point in his year. He's like, well, negotiate after this season. That the guys can hold out. I think you try to get a two-year deal done with Odell and maybe see if you can lock him down. Respect that pick. It's worth it's worth a squeeze. Yeah. The juice is worth a squeeze to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta take that next step. We're missing something in the the offensive. Even if he's just a decoy. How many times did they bring in Josh Gordon and the Chiefs to just be a decoy? Oh my god, yeah. If he can only play in the playoffs, sure. Have a threat out there for the playoffs. I mean, why not? Why Why would you stop yourself from that? Another guy to prep for. Honestly, if I was in the NFL, that's what I would do. I would just get hurt and play in the playoffs. I believe that. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. But I feel like it wouldn't be your decision. <laughs> I don't think I'm making many teams right now. So, we lost to the Jets a couple weeks ago. We did. Almost Are we at, and I don't remember that loss. I'm sure there was some bullshit stuff that happened. It wasn't overly. Are we concerned? No. In this game? No. Mike White got picked four Supposed times by snow. the Bills defense next year. Is it? I think it's supposed to rain. Their, uh, their defense was very solid against us. I remember that's the no. game where Diggs and Sauce Gardner were face-to-face most of the time. Uh, One coverage snap. I actually saw that today. One coverage snap against them. 42 yards Diggs had. And then he played in the slot the whole time. I mean, beat, yeah, Sunday's weather. They Looking almost a icky. They almost beat the Vikings last week. So did the Bills. The Bills actually did beat the Vikings, and then Tremaine Evans got hurt. And then Josh well, no. had to take a snap. Yeah, Josh Allen snapped on the goal line. You know what really happened to what we lost is I was there. <sighs> so really there is a shame ball. happening here that they always lose when Dave goes, and he did get Miami Dolphins tickets. So Count that as a loss. So you need to win this week. We are going on the road in the playoffs because of Dave. Thanks. Honestly, if they lose because of that, Dave, you are never going to a game ever again. And I'm okay with that. Do you not want to go to Miami again? I do. But I'm okay with it being my last one. I'm okay with this. we not testing this theory in an important game. But if you go to the home opener next year, I'll get you a home opener ticket. You can sit in my seat in the home opener next year. What are we looking at? The weather? Yeah. A uh, quarter of an inch of rain due on Sunday. He's yeah, it's nothing. Sounds fun. Yeah, it's supposed to all happen before noon. What? With a little bit of dew going on during the game. <laughs> nice. Is that going to be you? A little bit of dew? <clears throat> like Mountain Dew? Mm-hmm. I think you get Mountain Dew. Hey, there you go. Um, Next Friday, Orchard Park is looking to get 2.7 inches nice. of snow. Patrick um, Hammer was talking about the hammer. Was which is a little bit of a thing. lot, if you ask me. It's a lot. It's almost too much, right? So. Don't give them fucking heaters next week. Um, and there was a possibility that it could get really cold next week as well. Like Just looking in ahead because the Miami game did get flexed up to uh, Sunday. Happy Saturday. holidays. Happy that holidays. That is a Saturday night game. Well, we can't get to that. That's a chance thing. Oh, Jesus. I know, right? The wolf mob. Fucking musk, anyone. What? This is YouTube, bro. It's going to own this thing, too. <clears throat> Damn it. Taking all of our favorite things. <laughs> uh, Score predictions. 45 to 10. Wow. Davey? I'm going to do something you guys do. Hmm. 51-3. Bills solidify Jeez. themselves as the best team in the, in best the, team world. In the league. Uh, in the world. Jets, 20. Bills, 10. Dave's going. I'm not going this week. Yeah, but now you think they're going to blow them out. So that's just a bad juju. No, I'll do 31 to... Uh, Oof, zero. Jets? No, Bills. I don't think Mike White puts up a damn point. Trey White, interception this week. 
Ooh, need that. Tremaine Edmonds. And Poyer gets two. Controls the game. I think Poyer is your Garrett Wilson deterrent. Didn't play in the first matchup. Milano didn't play in the first matchup. Jordan Phillips barely played in the first mm-hmm. matchup. Now, two of those guys might not play this matchup, but Poyer is going to be your Garrett Wilson deterrent. Jets are down to a like, fourth string running back. I don't, I don't got know this guy named Knight, Knight and so Michael Carter is points. off of the injury reports that we'll be playing this week as well. I would have beat you by the Browns defense. Yeah, but you do. Yeah, I put a bit on him. Fucking Jeff. Have a great week, guys. Take care. I would have